The investigation will take months. The focus, what happened and how it can be prevented. To do that, we look at all the factors that might have been at play with the accident, uh, from the man to the aircraft to the environment. Mike Folkerts, an air safety investigator with the NTSB, says a twin engine Beach 58 Baron left Houston at about 7.30 in the morning. Six people were on board. The last air traffic control data that was captured at 8.50 Central Time, the aircraft was at 2,000 feet above sea level, which is about 200 feet above the ground level. It crashed shortly after. The victims dead on impact, every single person from Houston, including the pilot, 65-year-old Jeffrey Weiss, who had been flying for years. A little bit of information on the pilot. He was airline transport pilot certificated, a very experienced pilot, over 5,000 flight hours. Folker says the team also looked at weather conditions. That's not great weather, but it's not horrible weather either. He, as best we can tell, he was below the ceiling when the accident occurred. The NTSB says it will remain here in Kerr County for the next two or three days. It will then release a preliminary report in about a week. In Kerr County, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.